While the smell of cigarettes has began to fade, even in bars that once were home to clouds of smoke before smoking indoors was banned. Now, smoking indoors is an issue again as e cigarettes are growing in popularity. Their odor might be different, but vapes, as they're often called, can be almost as dangerous, physicians say. Now, the county health department plans to take a stand on the new smoking trend. Eduardo, Eduardo Garcia has more. If you're a tobacco enthusiast, you may notice a difference. The Coconino County Public Health is proposing some changes. The proposed changes are to expand the definition of tobacco products and vapor products so that we're including all current products and possibly any future products that emerge on the market. Coconino County Public Health hopes to prevent tobacco sales to minors. States that tobacco products need to be kept behind the counter and employee assistance is needed for a customer to obtain tobacco products in a retail setting and the proposed changes to the ordinance would include vapor products. The main goal of these revisions is basically to protect the general public from secondhand vapor as well as to keep these products out of the hands of people under the age of 18. With changes and revisions to the ordinance, the county remains faithful to keep up with the ever so changing tobacco market. These products do contain nicotine, which is addictive. And so when these products are left out in the open, it's more likely that a younger person can take them without paying for them. With NAZ Today, I'm Eduardo Garcia.